All right guys, so I finally got everything settled in and we are up here on Sturgeon Bay. So you guessed it, we are going after whitefish. And you know, the past couple trips that I've been up here has been really tough. So I'm hoping that my luck is going to change today. You know, I feel very optimistic that it's gonna go well. So fingers crossed, hopefully I'll get all 10 of those fish topside, but we're gonna see how it goes. So stick with me and we'll see how today pans out. First fish. Oh my gosh. That got hit so damn hard. I lost my entire rig. I got a second rod here anyways. Ready to go. I'll use this one on until I can get the other one rigged up. I prefer the other rod because it's a it's a more stiffer rod, but I got fish I got fish moving through here right now so I don't want to miss those opportunities so I'm gonna get this one rigged up and get it fired right back down. Come on. I don't know if that was a bite. There we go. Finally, that was a hit. This guy came up and thumped it. Oh man, this guy's pulling drag too. There you go. This is what came up and hit. He came up and hit on this jig and wrap. Back down. Let's see if we can get another one. Man, this wind is really starting to gust. Oh my gosh! She's packing on it. Come on. Jeez, man, this this fish is like, oh my god! Oh my gosh, I missed it like four or five times. There we go, fish on. These fish are. Pretty tough fighters. Oh, and I lost them. There we go, finally. Look, man, I really had to work just to get these guys to bite. Man, they're in such a negative mood today. I mean, I'm marking them all over the place, but... They just will not hit, you know? This guy came off of the slider. Beautiful fish. Right there. Man, I really had to work just to get this guy to, to come up and bite. But, he hit. That one came and hit because uh, I had a whole school that actually came right through and I was bouncing that one right off the bottom and he picked it up. So all I'm doing is, when I see them on the graph, I'm just watching my raw tip, you know, for that very subtle, you know, strike. And all I'm doing is I'm just bouncing it 
up and down off the bottom just trying to kick up that cloud of, of uh, mud down there to attract these fish to come in. Oh, had them. Alright, that one. That one hit. Oh my gosh. Why am I ripping them off? Oh. I must have at least lost like five fish, you know, trying to bring it up the hole. I, I don't know. I've, I've lost a lot of fish today. It's frustrating to, to say the least. Really frustrating. Okay, so I'm gonna take a moment and collect myself, simple because I'm a little frustrated. I've been losing all those fish. I've been having my line snap left and right. So I'm just gonna take this moment and just kind of discuss with you guys in regards to the rods and reels and setup that I'm using for today's trip. Okay, so rod number one. My go-to rod as of right now um, is the tuned up custom rod, power precision rod. And this is a uh, 32 inch rod. It's a beefier rod, um, it's stiffer, it's got a, a much stouter um, backbone. You know, when you're fishing that deep water, you want to be able to drive that hook uh, into that fish's mouth, which I'm having a lot of issues with today. But, you know, that's the, the point of this beefier rod is because you're fishing with a heavier setup, you want something to complement that weight. So this is the rod that I'm currently using for today. Now the reel is a 13 fishing Black Betty Freefall uh, reel and a lot of people have mixed reviews on this reel. I personally don't have any issues with it. I, I love it. And uh, the main line that I'm using is 8 pound braided line with uh, a 6 pound floral carbon leader. So this is the setup that I'm using. Um, this is on a slider rig, and what I currently have tied on right now is a Storm swim bait. Now a lot of guys like to jig uh, the wrap, like jigging wraps, um, spoons, you know, whatever floats your boat, but this is currently what I'm using. I'm switching between the minnow bait and the jigging wrap. So this is setup number one. Setup number two. What I'm using is a longer rod, so this is the 13 Fishing Tickle Stick, 38 inches long uh, with a light uh, tip. Uh, the reel is a number 8 uh, CGI reel, again paired up with 8 pound uh, braided line, 6 pound floral carbon, and you know I like to have both of these rods ready to go. You know, like in today's situation, perfect example of me snapping off you know when I have a school of fish that's still around and that's hanging around you know I want to be able to fish fast and fish those fish you know effectively so when I'm um, broken off on one rod you know I can quickly switch to the other one and get back down there and try to get those fish before they move out these are the two rods and reels and setup that I'm currently using for today and it's been holding up very well I had a pick up and leave because that hole that I was at before I mean I was I was marking fish I was catching fish out of there but I lost six of them at the hole so no more so I just got to this place immediately right off the bat I caught one already and unfortunately of course I didn't have the camera rolling so here we go Go. Better not lose this one. He's coming in really hard. He's pulling a lot of drag. I'm gonna play him very carefully. Here's my leader. Here we go. That's what was on the other end. He came up and uh, he hit the, uh, the the jigging wrap. All 
All right. So we got another fish on. This one's also pulling drag. I've lost so many fish already. I, I really don't want to horse this one in either. I don't know. It's just for whatever reason today, I'm just lo I'm losing a lot of fish. Here's my leader. Oh, there he goes. He just doesn't want to come in. I don't blame you, but. Oh. This guy. There we go. Finally. Fish on. He came up and uh, I felt him hit a couple times. I'm pretty sure he probably hit the uh, the bottom one. Hit that storm again. Take it slow. Want to make sure I get this fish on top. It's really starting to slow down a little bit, so I really don't want to horse this one up. show you hit that hit that uh that storm he hit it pretty good bleed him out rip the gills out Carefully. If he wants to run, go ahead and run. I got my drag somewhat loose. I'm gonna take my time to play him in. Here's the latest fish. This little storm swim bait has been a uh, has been the ticket. This little guy right here. All of the last maybe handful of fish that I've got came off of this little swim bait I guess that's going to be it you know I'm calling it a day I got all of my 10 fish limit out for the second time ever up here on Sturgeon Bay so it's been a grind for sure uh, the morning started out uh, definitely a little bit better but as that day kind of progressed it got a lot tougher but I managed to get my limit so I'm calling it good um, this is probably going to be it, you know, with the warmer weather that's going to be rolling through over the next several weeks, that's going to put uh, a beating on the ice conditions out here. So I probably won't have any more time to come back out here. But if you're in the area and you're coming up here, make sure that you're checking those ice reports, checking the conditions, make sure that you're taking uh, all of these safety precautions to stay safe when you're out here. But, you know, if you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.